everybody, welcome back. I've got a journal complete. This is my <clears throat> design team project for Dreams Etc. And I've used um, Jennifer's kit called Cottage Rose. It's a beautiful kit. Um, as you, you may or may not know, I've just recently joined um, Dreams Etc. design team and um, so I worked with the um, romantic notions on the file folder and now this is my um, next project. So let me get a ruler here. This journal is about five and three quarters by nine and it's a one signature. Um, really glad <coughs> to be back to fabric. I think it's been a little while since I've I had chance to work with it and this was some of the material that I was able to pick up at um, some of my thrifting um, over the last couple of weeks. So um, I really loved this because it's a nice neutral and then um, the rose obviously um, with the cottage rose I thought it was a, a really complemented the kit nicely. Lots of, um, well, vintage trim here. Then I've got um, some vintage, um, it's kind of like a, uh, it's not a trim, but um, a piece of fabric that's got some in, um, design to it. I don't know how to describe it, sorry. Um, and then this was a bit of uh, another trim that I've got in my stash, and then another um, little bit of vintage that I picked up out at the uh, flea market. So I just did some stitching on some buttons, and then this little metal button there I thought really kind of pulled the brown out of the image. The closure is um, another piece of the fabric. I like to do that. I think it. it it looks nice uh, when that's done. This is a one signature, if I didn't say, and it's been sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. Um, okay, on the front cover, I've created a, a large pocket here and then another pocket here. Did some fussy cutting here, and this is one of the tags um, that comes in the kit. Added some trim there. Did some stitching around it. Um, that's been backed with tea dyed paper. So that fits in there nicely. <clears throat> this was something I was playing around this weekend and um, just did a bit of collaging with various um, fabrics and trims I had and added some more buttons. And um, it's just fabric backed. It could have paper put on it, but I thought, oh, it's just kind of a nice element to have something a little bit different uh, within the journal. Some of the papers from the Cottage Rose kit, they are beautiful. And this was one of the images I've cut down and created a pocket with that. Um, <clears throat> this altered um, guest check did some more collaging there with an old button. And then I just made a little tuck spot here and then this is some Edith Holden that I just layered onto that paper. Um, everything's been tea dyed. Um, I've also done some very, very light um, script stamping for just a little bit of texture. I did a bit of the uh, stamping on some of the pages. I didn't do it on every page. And then here I've done a fabric collage with a little bulb pen and then I've got that tiny little envelope charm. Um, this is another uh, page from the kit. And here I've created, it's like a, um, a clear front glassine bag that um, I've had in my stash. So I put an old receipt in the back because you ended up with um, three pockets on this. Got a pocket back there and then this pocket and then you've also got the pocket within the bag itself and this is one of the tags. I've done some sewing around that. This is one of the journal cards from the kit. Love that image. And then this 
um, just a tea dyed index card. I've tucked that in there for some extra journaling. Um, and then this is a little, it's like a faux tea bag tag that I created with just um, some stuff from my stash. I've sewn a little button onto that fabric flower. And then here I've done some fabric with some lace and then some fussy cut roses. So if you love roses, it's got a lot of roses in this kit, um, or in the journal. Uh, well, the kit as well. And this is another page. And here I've tucked in a little glassine bag with a collaged um, journal card. And this has been stamped onto muslin and then stitched around. You could do some journaling on the back. And then that's been put into this tiny glassine. And then this is a tag that I made um, that on the back it holds two more tags. And this is from the kit. And then this one is another one that I've cut down so that it would fit this pocket. So that's been tucked in there. Love that page. Um, beautiful, beautiful colors. <coughs> okay, on this page, this is an envelope uh, pocket flip out, and I've just put a fussy cut rose in there, and several just various journal cards that I've got in my kit that I thought complemented this. That's been tucked in there. This is one of the um, this is part of a tag in the kit and I've just fussy cut that out to add on there. I think that looks nice. And then here I've got another journal card with some old trim stitched to it. And then on this side, I just did a little flip out. So you could do some journaling up here, and then you could also add a photo if you wanted. And just, you know, some little flip papers for more journaling. Love that page. I love the blue. Here I've created a pocket, and this is another of the tags from the kit. The images are gorgeous, really vibrant. <coughs> it's very English, these, um, the images in here. It uh, reminds me when we go out, we don't get to do it as much as we used to, but we used to always try to go out on Sunday and have a drive and, and do a walk. And then we would, you know, stop and have a tea and maybe a slice of cake or something, but because, um, you know, Paul's trying to watch his sugar and i trying to watch my weight. We're trying not to do that so often. <laughs> but I do miss our little Sunday afternoon routine because um, there are some beautiful little villages. Um, well, the whole country's beautiful. This is another little uh, snippet um, tab. I've put those throughout the journal. But, yeah, this... I love this kit, and I suppose because it is very much like the uh, English countryside. This is another page from the kit. Um, if you've been following me on um, the 100 Day Project, this was one of the little envelopes I created. There's nothing in this one, but there's plenty of ephemera in this journal, so... And it was getting so full, um, but you could move things around and place them in, in other places if, you, if you're not happy with where they are. This is one of the journal cards from the kit. I love that. And then this is just a floating pocket. Um, I think this may have been one of the first um, projects I did in the 100 Day because it's an envelope. And I've left it the back blank so that you could journal more there. And then this is a collaged um, journaling card that I've stuck in. So you've got journaling space there and on the back. And that can just float within the um, journal. 
And then on this side, um, I just tucked in a little um, digital guest check that I had printed. I thought went nicely with this as well. And that's just being clipped in with a little Tim Holtz. I believe those are Tim Holtz clips. This is some Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper sample. Some more uh, snippet tabs. This is tea dyed tracing paper, so you got the crunch there. And this is the center of the signature, and this is the Edith Holden um, page. I've tried to keep as much of it as I could. And because um, obviously Edith Holden, she was um, describing an area not far from where um, I'm living, and it's interesting to read her book. I, I've got a copy I've kept for myself because I just love the way she writes. And some of the places she's describing that she's out, um, you know, observing nature. I've been, and you're like, oh, I can't believe that, you know, um, that she lived right here. It's, it's interesting. So, yes, I have to have one of those for myself. Um, this is another one of those tags and it's just floating so if you you know if you don't want to use this in here um, you could certainly just take it out if if you feel the journals too full because it is very very full and this is another image from the kit beautiful I sometimes think it would have been nice to have lived um, back, you know, when women dressed. These, this is one of the little envelopes from the, the kit. Love these. Uh, when women dressed really nice, and I mean, they, but then again, you think, oh, I don't know, because if you, it was great if you were of the wealthy and the elite, but not so good for the the working working class but still it does seem it does seem as though it was a happier time whether it actually was we, we don't know beautiful look at that hat isn't it gorgeous I do love the fact that the English women still uh, like to wear the hats um, you know for weddings and uh, Definitely to the horse races. Oh my gosh, they really get dolled up for the horse races. <laughs> and this is another little tuck spot here um, with a couple of little journaling cards. A little fabric tag that's been collaged. Another little snippet there. And then this page is, this is one of the little faux um, flower, a paper flower that, uh, not faux, it's a paper flower that I created. Um, the inspiration from that was from the um, Renew, Renewed and, oh I can't remember. It was in my tutorial. I put a link to where I got that idea from. This is just various. This is from the kit, another journaling tag. And uh, just a couple of other little things I had in my stash I thought went nicely with it. Yeah, they love to dress up for the horse races here. We went to one, um, gosh, it's been oh, probably four, four or five years back we went to a horse race. And I was so excited because it is such a big deal here um, or in that area that we were living in. And I have to say, when I went to it, it was, I, I, I won't go to another. Um, while we were there, uh, one of the horses had had an injury, and they had to put it down, and it just, ooh, it really bothered me. I just thought, no, I'm, I'm not going to another one. And um, the jockey was hurt very bad as well. I think he's recovered now, but it was just such a downer. Um, here you've got another little pocket, and then this is one of the images I've just um, put that in place there. But you've got a pocket there, and then this is the Tim Holtz. I think this is a photo die. Another little snippet here with a little bell. 
And here is another tuck spot. I love that image. Um, the rose, like wallpaper background and the lace. It's just beautiful. Um, this page, I've just recently purchased these envelopes. And um, I just folded it up, made a little pocket there. This is another um, tag from the kit. Nice big, I love the writing on that. And then another small journal card. So you've got a place you can put some things in there. And that's just tucked over. And then this is a um, tiny little tag that you can do some journaling there. And I've just got that clipped in the journal. Love that page. So a lot of writing space. Um, I don't know offhand how many pages, but you can see there's there's quite a few places where you can do writing. Um, another fabric ruffle, um, and then this is one of my little tea bag. Um, you. Well, it was good, you know, there, when I created these, it was to be a pocket, but this one ended up being a lavender sachet. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And then I've put it inside one of my little fabric pockets there, and I've done a little snippet there. So this smells nice. That's why I didn't glue that down, um, is you could just move that throughout the, um, the journal. And if you don't like lavender, you could just take it out altogether. <laughs> but I like it. Um, and then on the back here, the inspiration behind this is from Nikki. You guys know I'm Nikki's number one fan. This is some like pearlized um, scrapbook paper and um, she had this idea which I thought was really nice. I've done these big envelopes before but it didn't occur to me to leave it open so that you could then within it have more uh, flips and tucks. So thank you Nikki for that. That's brilliant. Um, here I've just I've created a little um, belly band so that I've made a like a little notepad and that way once you've used that up just make yourself another one or pick one up from the the store you could always do that so that way you've always got a bit of paper you know for just notes maybe you want to run out somewhere and then these are envelopes that's got space there and I've put a pocket on the back of each or front and back on all of these and then obviously you've got the space in there and like I said I I didn't fill everything um, because it is just getting so big and then this um, is another pocket here another big pocket you can put some things in but I love how that closes up so tidy um, okay so there it is as you can see it's pretty full like I said a lot of that if you if you feel it's too full you can take out and uh, shift it around and put it in other journals so I tried to um, to give you the flexibility to do that but let's see let's go this way so there it is guys that's my um, cottage rose journal and I will put the link below to Jennifer's uh, website where you can purchase the uh, Cottage Rose digital kit. And then my shop will be listed below if you're interested in this journal. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you here very soon. Bye!